I met Jeff as the first time, was my day one here. We were recruited together. We didn't know each other from, we didn't play in the same football teams in high school. We came in together and uh, we sat in Coach Arnott's office together. Jeff on the right, Joel on the left. My first impressions of Jeff was, this guy is not small. Huge, great smile, never stopped talking. We were recruited together and he did all the talking. Jeff's greatest ability on the field, I think, was his preparation off the field. He prepared himself the way he ate, the way he looked after himself, which translated right away onto the field. He is the ultimate teammate. His gift was to make everyone around him better. One of the funny stories that I remember of Jeff was, was game one of, of our first year. I had the best position on the team because I was sitting on the bench so I could see everything. And we were playing against UFD and we won the game. Coach next day comes in and he says, guys, we made the paper. And that's a big thing. New York University making the paper. We are in the front of the Toronto Sun. And it was a picture of Jeff. And underneath his pants, he was wearing pajamas. As we are trying to get recognition of being a great football team, and we were moving in the right direction, 1995, they broke the streak, and then all of a sudden, the first picture that we have of the Toronto, Star, or the Toronto Sun is Jeff in his football equipment, flexing his arms with the ball in his hand, but he had pajamas, and they were about this big. So I think that slowed him down a little in game one. Jeff had the, the great understanding that what team is and how successful a sports team can be especially the York's football team, was really what it meant to be a yeoman and now a lion, was that make everyone around you better. And he would take the time, if it was in the dressing room, to talk to everybody in the dressing room. If it was in the therapy room, he would talk to everybody in the therapy, therapy room. His greatest gift was to make sure everybody felt a part of the team. He has the ability to be able to understand what success means. And success is not all about winning and losing. It's how you come together as a team and how you bring people together. He was a three-time OUAA All-Star, two-time CIAU All-Star. He won the Rookie of the Year for the OUA and also he won the, the National Rookie of the Year. Interesting fact was the National Rookie of the Year is the Peter Gorman Trophy, which is my grandfather. So he got my grandfather's award. I was there at the awards with him. Jeff is also York's all-time leading rusher. Jeff had a great career in the CFL. He was undrafted. Then he got a phone call. Actually, I was with him when he got the phone call to come to the uh, Hamilton Tiger Cats training camp. And that sent him off for a 14-year great career. Uh, Jeff um, spent 12 years with the Toronto Argonauts. Jeff was in the top five of games played as a Toronto Argonaut player. And also as an Argonaut player, he won two great cups. But again, I think you can ask any person in the Toronto Argonaut organization, what was best, what's Jeff's best success? And it was being a teammate. People loved him because he had that joy of life, which succeeded in him from York to his family parents, to the Argonaut organization made him to who he was today. A beautiful wife, Kelly, his four beautiful children. He's also working right now with uh, Conduct, which is a sports technology company, and he deals with a lot of professional teams and how to get the best out of each athlete. Jeff, 2017 inductee to the York University Sports Hall of Fame. Congratulations. From the day I met you in 1995, through your university career, through your career in the CFL, through your family life, you've been a great success, a great teammate, and most of all, a great friend. Good job, buddy. Way to go.